this has been this has been a topic of conversation forever. T Pain. What happened? Uh T Pain got 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 shit stored up. Oh shit. Um let's let's first I'm gonna play this. I'm not even gonna say it because I know y'all gotta hear this for yourselves. Let me find the clip. Play it. Once I play this, you guys are gonna probably lose your minds. Oh, is this guy for real? Is it? Imagine, imagine, imagine if if Instagram and Twitter was popping like it is now when Jay was doing his thing. That is true. Come on, my nigga. Like you know what I'm Shit, saying? I imagine it, if Instagram and Twitter were popping like when Pac was like beefing. Like imagine how entertaining that would have been. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like yeah, and it's gonna be it's gonna be some bullshit. And Pac would have got killed sooner. People going, people going, nah, not Pac would have got, yeah. oh, you know what? Pac would have got killed sooner. Yes. And, yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. and, 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 and he would have got his ass ate the fuck up. Lyric, lyric, oh, lyric. Oh, whoa, 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 what? What? Hey, yo. <laughs> Lyricism wise, Pac would have got fucking ridiculously murdered. By who? Because it's, whoa, because it's who? niggas out here for real. Be- bro, Pac was the crazy lyricist at our time because ain't nobody else have no platform. Yo, I'm going to keep it real with you. Real I'm going to disagree cool. respectfully with that just because look at. No platform. Oh, so what drill music is now. Like, fuck lyrics. It's all about disrespect. And when you say, yo, that's why I fucked your bitch, you but that's fat what, motherfucker. No, that's, but that's what I'm saying. That's but that's what I'm saying. If the, if the platforms would have been what they are now, fuck would have got ate the fuck up. Bro, do you see act? You, you yourself posted it. Do you Anyways, see- I'm going to stop that. Because- why is he thinking that? I don't get it. Because now there's a, like, I don't know. It's like it's social media culture, right? And there's a lot more, a lot more access to artists now. Less competition back then. Now there's a lot, right? Okay. So there's a lot more artists that can come out and be lyrical, blah blah blah. I'm gonna here's the thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna play both sides here. I'm gonna start out with agreeing with T Pain. I know people aren't gonna like that. Let me agree with T Pain for this. I'm gonna start out with both sides. I agree with uh, with what he said. Because if you think about it, look at any, anything, anything that involves entertainment, anything, anything, any, actually anything, anything, just think about anything. It's always improved as time went on. Look at basketball. The time Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was one of the greatest ever. Mm -hmm. Who came after that? Magic Johnson. After Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan. All of a sudden, Michael Jordan is fucking amazing. One of the greatest of all time. Who comes after that? Shaq, Kobe. Players have gotten better and better, can do triple doubles now, can shoot threes better now. And the fact that people think LeBron isn't better than Michael Jordan is crazy because LeBron's in every, damn near everything besides free throws, better than Jordan. Can shoot threes better. Can any anything. He scored more, everything. So as anything, whatever it is, movies, they improve over time. Basketball players have improved over time. Rappers even improve over time. There's new flows, new cadences, punchlines, all these things. Now, what we don't know, that's why I agree with T-Pain, because things have improved as time went on. And there's more options now. There's more competition. And hip-hop has improved as time went on. Whether people would like to think of that or not, hip-hop has improved as time went on. That's just, everybody, there's more options, and there's more styles, there's more competition. So that just breeds better stuff. Then you have to also think about, like I'm losing train of uh, thought here. As things improved over time, would Pac have improved over time? Would Pac have adapted well? That's the thing we don't know. That's the unknown. Is if Pac went in 2000, 2005, would he have adapted to what newer was? Or would he have been one of those old heads that kind of just flamed out? Or maybe would he, he would have gone into acting and just completely forgot about hip hop because he was a great actor. You don't know. What do you be able to keep up with these people? So that's why I kind of agree with T-Pain. I feel like there's a lot more competition now. There's a lot more variety of stuff. There's a lot more you have to keep up. You have to consistently be there in front of people's faces. And who knows if Pac would have been able to keep up with that. Yeah. Now, the other side about it is Pac was a fucking amazing poet, man. That guy could write like it was fucking nothing. You fat motherfucker. Like, just, just that just that alone hitting somebody with a diss. One of the hardest discs ever. Yeah. Fuck your bitch, you fat. Like, come on, man. That just off starting like that was just like people were like, Pac could write his ass off. 
And Pac had the thing that I love about Pac that not many people have is his voice. The the energy from his yeah, voice was energy, like a fucking yeah. like a movie. Exactly. Like it was just yeah, yeah. you know, he had that energy that not many people he was have. Entertaining man. Yeah. People. Yeah. And you can't really replace that, man. There's not a lot of artists that have that type of uh sound. But here's right. the thing, you know, that's what I mean. It's like Pac, you have to think about every artist that we have alive right now, have they improved as time went on or have they gotten worse? That's the question you gotta ask yourself. I think a lot got worse. That's what you think in style of music. Lyrically, a lot of them got better, but the style of music's gotten worse. Correct. They can't adapt. That's the thing is you can't adapt with the times. A lot of these people get stuck. No disrespect to Eminem, but I know you guys are going to take this the wrong way, but Eminem's music is it better than when he released Eminem's show and Eminem's and the Marshall Mathers LP at his peak. No, he's naturally declined. Now, did he get better lyrically and delivering? Yeah, he's improved on that. A lot of artists, all the artists improved on that usually. But the music just doesn't match what's hot right now. And that's the same thing that happened to Pac. It usually happens to everybody. It's hard for everybody to adapt and build. Um, but he would have caught everybody's attention regardless. It's like right. Eminem and Jay-Z. They catch yeah. people's attention regardless of what they release. I just think that Tupac, if he was still alive right now, I think he would have been killing music, like dropping music, killing it, doing numbers. Always. Like a... I don't know. Let's, what's a good But here's example? the thing, though, that... But I think he would have also transitioned to other things like acting. Yeah, everybody would uh, doing everybody this. Would. You know, a lot of ours don't even do that. Like you know, no, the only ones Eminem hasn't done that. Yeah, Nas has transitioned. Do. Everybody's Jay Z's transition. Uh, Kanye's transition. Everybody's transition besides Eminem. Kanye's doing fashion clothing. Jay Z's doing all kinds of uh, deals, business deals, Twitter, True, all yeah. these things. Uh, what is it? Fifty's doing his movies and shit. Nas is doing documentaries. And he just dropped Supreme Team. That's Nas directed that shit. So a lot of everybody transitioned for the most but, part. But I mean, his music still would have been great, I believe. Yeah, um, because he he was good at that man. You gotta give him credit. Bro. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. we don't we don't know that long of a time frame, but but here's I mean, the thing too. We saw like here's the thing too, and this is a perfect example and perfect thing to compare to. When Snoop Dogg, when they asked Snoop Dogg about Tupac, he said when Tupac alive, he wasn't this big figure that we think of him as now. He really wasn't. He wasn't yeah, this insane. Numbers. Right now, because he died, he's looked at this big. Same with Biggie. Same shit with Biggie. And the perfect example for that is Nipsey Hussle. We lived through that, so we know. Mm-hmm. Watch, 20 years down the line, people, or even 15 years down the line, people are going to be like, Nipsey Hussle was this. When he was. When he was alive, and we know mm-hmm. he was alive, he wasn't that big as he is now. Right now, he's looked at as like a legend icon. When Nipsey was alive, people were not praising him like that. It just wasn't happening. His album debuted at number four, sold whatever, 50,000 copies. The same thing with Tupac. Even Snoop Dogg, who's been around that time, yeah, he was but, around. He said himself, Snoop, Tupac wasn't this big figure that he is now that is mythical, you know, because true. so. But look at their music. When their music was dropping, it was. Let me see how much he sold. I don't remember man. how much he sold when Tupac was, was alive. Like they were dropping great records. I, I don't think it was just catching on to people quick enough, I guess. No, no, they were dropping. I'm not saying Tupac wasn't an, uh, a star, you know, but he wasn't an icon at the time. That's the difference. No, There's no, a yeah, star. Yeah, yeah. Here, here's the levels that I look what at. What was star, their time frame? Star, superstar, and then icon mm-hmm. or legend. Icon slash legend, whatever you call it. Right. His time frame was anything before 1996. So 19, you could say 1990 to 1996. So six. 96 to 99? Or no, no, man. He died in 96. So 1990 yeah. till 96, you could say. So That's 90 like. 90 to 96. Like yeah. Six years. That's usually what you can say for the most part. He's obviously released music before then, but that's like when his peak started, you know, in 1990, he started having his kind of moments. So let me look at it. Let me look at how much he sold when he was alive and then when he died. I bet you anything, it's it's a skyrocket. Oh, of course. It always does. But that's my point is like, yeah. you know, so me against the world. That was, an, that was the last album he dropped while he was alive. It came out March 14th, 1995. Literally... A month before I was born. <laughs> so let me check out the first week. If they even have it on here. Yeah, I don't see no first week sales. Let me see. Me against the world. Double platinum. It debuted at number one. But there was no first week sales. It doesn't say any first week. It says it debuted at number one and held the top spot for four consecutive weeks. Yeah, it doesn't say that's what. 
which I think they were counting first week, man. There's no way that they weren't counting first week still. Maybe that thing would, didn't exist back then. <laughs> nah, there's, there's no, no way. I don't. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't see yeah. no first week sales. Anyways. actually, I see. I see all eyes on me. The only okay. one. They did five hundred sixty-six thousand copies. That's after he died. Debut number one, five hundred sixty-six thousand copies. Now this album went diamond eventually. So you're saying they you just were like nobodies? No, basically. nobody's saying that. They they were making hits, but they weren't. They, but at, yeah, when he died, it just nobodies. That's not what I meant to say. But I'm saying that they, they weren't like really hot, like in the public eye. I guess they weren't like super fucking stars, like yeah. the, the boom dominating. Like they were doing great, but. Not like when he died. When he died, it was just a whole different. I wonder who in that time frame was like hotter than them. Snoop Dogg. Yeah, Snoop Dogg. Doggy Style was fucking Dr. Dre, which was helping. So Snoop literally Dog. all this beef and shit just got him. I, all I know is I when he was alive, he wasn't as big as when he died. The death skyrocketed him to a whole different level. He finally went diamond. He finally went diamond, 10 million sold. It took him to die and release a double disc CD for that to happen. That's no disrespect to Tupac. I'm just saying, you know, and Snoop Dogg himself said it. He wasn't this iconic figure and everybody was, you know, praising him. He was a great artist and people liked him. You know, the album, look at that. But when he was alive, his album debuted at number one. There's no uh, sales, but Dear Mama was number nine on the hot. Which is fucking amazing. He was a great big artist, but not at the level after he died. So I say that to say, you know, we 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 put Tupac on this pedestal, but if he was alive, would he really still be on that pedestal? Like, think about it. If Eminem died in his prime, that's when Tupac died. He died. Tupac and Biggie died in their primes. Yeah. Imagine Eminem dies in his prime. Eminem show drops dead. We would consider him one of the greatest of all time. Jay Z dies in his prime. You know, 50. Imagine if 50 died after dropping Get Rich or Die Trying. Yeah. He You'd be looked at as the greatest ever to ever do it, like period. Another Pac right there. No, they, they would literally, I'm yeah. telling you right now, because of the hype and stuff, they would put him as the number one rapper of all time. Yeah, probably. No, really. Like, yeah. that hype, like, imagine that insane hype, and then he dies, like, six months later. Yeah. Like, that's what I mean is, like, they died at their peak, and that's why they're viewed at like that. That, that. That's the reason. And there's no, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but I, I can understand where T-Pain's coming from. Is there's so much competition now? There's so much different lanes, different stuff that who knows if Tupac and Biggie, let's just bring both of them in there. If they would have been able to adapt and do their thing, but they were great, obviously artists and what they're doing. So I can understand both sides of the story. I think. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I just think that if they were still alive, they just would have gotten better and better and better, made some crazy, nice, good albums, sold ten million. Yeah, and we. I mean, two, yeah. we have to remember. Biggie was with Diddy. Diddy's an amazing executive producer. Yeah. And then you got you got Dr. Dre with Tupac. So then fifty would have came like maybe he would have yeah, asked if that, that would have yeah. gangsters like some crazy shit. Like Yeah. I don't know. I mean, so I mean, yeah. yeah. I, I Tupac was talented, obviously. There's yeah. I think he would have adapted pretty good. Super talented. Yeah, I think it would adapt pretty good overall. But I agree with I kinda I agree with both sides. I, I see where T Pain's coming from. Yeah. 